What is going on guys and welcome to JavaScript project. In this little JavaScript project we're going to create a random hex color generator, right? And we're going to do it two ways. Both ways we're going to use a vanilla JavaScript. However, over here we can do this with a button, right? So you can see as I'm clicking the button we're going to have a random hex color over here, right? And then we can do it also automatically, right? So we're going to first set this one with a button, and then we're going to do the automatic version, right? So here you can see that pretty much every three seconds over here, right? We're going to have a different hex color. First things first, we would be in our index.html, right? So we're going to grab over here, and we're going to add a skeleton, right? And I'm just going to go with the basic skeleton over here like this. And then I'm going to say this is going to be a random color over here. And we're just going to say this is going to be English. And over here in the body, we're going to start uh, placing our elements, right? And the first one we're going to place is actually we're going to say this is going to be a heading one. Over here like this, we're going to say heading one. And we're going to say this is uh, hex color, right? Hex color over here. Then we're going to have a span over here. And we're going to have in a class of value. So I'm going to write over here class value over here. And then we're going to have a button, right? So over here, we're going to have a heading, and after that, we're going to have a button, and the button is going to have an ID, and I'm just going to give it a BTN over here like this. So now we have a button over here, and then for the body, we're just going to say an ID, and we're going to say body. Now, I'm not going to create a separate style sheet, right, because I want to keep everything on one page, because I want to just copy and paste this quickly to the next one, when we're going to be creating without the button. So here, I'm going to say this is going to be style, and then within the style, we're just going to apply some styles, right? So here, for the body, we're just going to say this is going to be body, or here like this, and then we're going to have a display, we're going to say flex, then we're going to have a flex direction, right? So flex direction over here we're going to say column then after that we're going to have align items not content actually items we're going to say center then we're going to have a justify content also center over here like this and then we're going to have minimal height of 100 viewports over here like this and the reason you saw that it was different right so with the column obviously actually it's not going to be like align items right Align items is actually going to be responsible for something else than if we would have a flex direction row, right? So we know with flex direction row, we actually have a justify content is actually responsible over here for this horizontal. But actually, it's the other way if you have the column, right? So if I take this one away, right now you can see that justify content is actually responsible for aligning vertically, not horizontally, right? So just keep in mind that when you're working with flex uh, CSS properties. Now over here, I'm going to have a heading 1. I'm going to say heading 1 over here like this. And this is going to be font size over here, 45 pixels over here like this. Then we're going to have text transform to uppercase, text transform uppercase over here like this. Then we're going to have a button, right? So let's go ahead and let's actually work with a button. So here we're going to say button button over here like this and then we're going to have a font size i'm going to say 25 25 pixels over here and you know what maybe let's do uh, text align center over here like this or you know what no for a smaller screen it's actually better if we go like this maybe this 45 was a little bit uh, too small, right? So over here we'll have 40, right? So it's gonna look somewhat decent over here, and but it's gonna look better actually on a bigger screen. So over here font size 25 pixels. Then we're gonna have a padding, and the padding we're gonna set to 10 pixels over here and 20 pixels over here like this. Then we'll have a color and three Fs over here like this, and then we're gonna have a background color, right? So we're gonna go background color. It's gonna be hashtag 191716 right so something like this over here and the last thing we're going to have for the value for over here for this span and we're going to go over here and we're going to say that this is going to be class value over here like this and this is going to be font size over here 75 pixels right so we're going to do 75 pixels over here and let's just save it and let's actually see how it looks on a actual full screen right so i'm going to go to my folder right here index right and this obviously looks better right now. So you could keep it actually 45. It's just on a small screen. 
just looks a little bit annoying, right? And like I said, I'm going to be keeping everything quite, quite simple in the same space. So I'm actually going to create a script over here, right? So in the bottom of the body, right? Because, I mean, obviously we can create a separate file, but I just want to keep everything in the same line over here, right? So what we're going to do over here, the first things first, we actually need our variables, right? So let's create more room so we have more room to work in, right? And I'm going to say this is going to be variables, right? Once we have the variables, we're going to say let and we're going to say color, right? And the color over here, we're going to set it equal to hashtag over here like this, right? Then we're going to have a const, right? Which is actually going to be a array. So we're going to say colors over here like this. It's not going to be very original, right? And we're going to set it equal to array. And in the array, actually, we're going to have a zero. Then we're going to have one. Then we're going to have a two. Then we have a three and all the way up to nine, right? So we're going to have four five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Then we're going to have A, B, C, D, E, F, right? And that this is for hex colors, right? So we're going to have A, then we're going to have over here B, and then we'll have A, C over here, and then we'll have a D, right? Over here like this, and we have E and F. So it's going to be E over here, E, and over here, this is going to be F, right? So now that we have our array, right? Let's go ahead and let's actually have a little bit more variables. So next one is going to be const, and this is going to be button, right? So this is going to be btn, and over here we're going to say document, and I'm just going to go ahead, go ahead right away by id, right? So over here I have the, if I press the shortcut, right? So we'll have a document and get element gi, right? This would be get element by id. So I'm going to go gi and by id. I'm going to say that I would want to target and I'm going to say BTN, right? Because obviously you can see the ID stays the same, right? And that's why I wanted to keep working over here so I can kind of quickly show you where we at, right? So now that we have a button, then we're going to have a background, right? So we're going to say const over here and we're going to say body over here, background, background over here. And this is going to be equal to the body, right? So this guy over here, right? So again, we're going to press GI and this is going to be equal to body because that's the ID that we obviously gave the body, right? So now that we have this, then next one would be const, and this would be value. Or here, value, or here like this. And we're going to say again that this is going to be query selector, right? So here, if we press like this, document query selector, and this is actually going to be equal to value, right? This is going to be equal to the span class that we had. So here, I'm going to write value. Now that we have these variables, now the actual logic, right? So we can write over here logic. And the first thing that I would want to do is actually add a button uh, event listener, right? So I'm going to say btn, right? So this is going to be my const. I'm going to say add event listener, right? Then I'm going to say what kind of an event listener, right? So first I'm going to say click, right? So only when I'm clicking. And over here I'm going to say get color, right? And this is going to be the function that we're going to write in a second, right? Over here we're going to say we're going to do a function declaration, right? So we're going to say function, and we can write it however we want, right? So function, and we're going to say get and color, right? It's going to have no parameters, right? But over here, we're going to have a curly brackets over here like this. And the first thing we're going to say is color, right? And we're going to color is going to set equal to, and over here, we're going to say hashtag, right? So over here like this, so color is going to be equal actually to the hashtag, right? Then the next thing that I would want to do, we're going to say a for loop, right? So we're going to say let, and we're going to say i, and i is going to be equal to zero. Then we're going to say that i is actually going to be, I can say this is not a comma, right? Then i needs to be equal to six, right, over here, and actually less than six, sorry, and i plus plus, right? And the thing is that we know that hex colors, actually, there's going to be six letters, right? Six letters or numbers, right? So all I'm doing is we're basically going to generate six random numbers, right? So here I'm going to say like this, right? So we're going to go in the loop, and I'm going to say every time the loop runs, right? First, I'm going to create let random, right? So random number, and I'm going to say math, and then we're going to say random, math floor, sorry. So we're going to first, oh, my apologies. First, we're going to say math floor, right? So every number we're actually downgrade to the lowest one, the closest one, right? And then we're going to say math random over here, random. So we're going to generate a random number. And over here, we're going to multiply that number, right? 
over here by the colors length right so we're going to go over here and we're going to find where's colors right and we're going to say length right so basically what we're saying is that this number shouldn't be more than actual length of this colors right so it's obviously going to be somewhere this number is going to be getting something from from here right so it's going to be either zero or whatever the length over here with the colors is right and over here with the with the floor we're going to make sure that we're not going over right because the colors length is actually we know that this is actually one more right because it starts with zero and length is actually going to be full size but since we're using the floor we're all we're never going to be wrong right so here we have this and then we're going to go and then we're going to say that for the color over here like this we're going to say add or equal to and we're going to say colors over here colors so now we're targeting actually right and here we're going to use the random number right so we're going to say random so every time whenever we're looping through we're going to pick a random number over here and we just add it to this color right so this is how we can get the random number and then over here just for the sake of it right what we can do is we can just say console log right especially the first time when you're doing something it's always too good to do the console log because then we can actually see what we're doing right so console log over here over here like this and then we're going to write that this is going to be color just so we can see that after actually it's working right so i'm going to go back over here and then outside over here right so this was our loop right but our function is right here right so still within the function we're going to say body right this body background over here that we created or here this const so we're going to say body background body background uh, style over here style and then we're going to say that this is going to be a background color background color over here and we're going to set it equal to color right so obviously the variable that we're actually going to upgrade right so over here we've set it equal to right and then we're going to say value over here inner html and we're going to set it equal to color right so over here like this so now we save this over here and let's go back to our document and let's see everything if everything is working right so i'm going to go back over here and i'm going to get rid of the youtube right and we have over here right and the first things first let's just get inspect right so we have our developer tools it's going to be our console and let's check it out whether it's working right and something is not working right so let's refresh right and you can see that unexpected string now let's check it out what it is right so here you can see that there is a mistake right so let's go back to array go back we can see that i made a mistake over here in between the c that there is no comma right so we set this button back over here we refresh right and now you can see that it's working fine right so if we back go back to console and we press over here and this is going to be this is hex color right and over here you can see how we created it right so it was 5, then 5, 7, 5, 7, B, 5, 7, B, 6, and F, and F, C, right? So it ran the loop, right? It created this random color, and every time we're basically clicking, right? So this is going to be our random color. And now let's go ahead and actually let's set it automatic, right? Without the button, and that it actually does it by itself, right? And therefore, what we're going to do is we're just going to go over here, and I'm going to select the whole thing, and we're going to copy this one, and instead of index HTML, we're going to say new file, and we're going to say random and HTML, right? So this is going to be the random one, right? Again, they both random, but in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to leave these guys alone, right? So everything that we're doing over here is going to stay the same up until the value, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to change the logic, right? So now we have our index HTML. We're going to get rid of this guy over here, right? And we're going to delete it, right? And we're going to write a, basically a different logic over here, right? So we're going to save this one, right? And over here, what we're going to write is we're going to say this is going to be ify, right? So it's going to be instantaneously, right? Function. And over here, we're going to say this is going to be a equal to set interval, right? So we're going to say set interval over here. And the set interval is going to be actually equal to get color, right? So again, we're going to write a get color over here. And we're going to say this is going to be equal to 3000, right? So here we're going to say this is going to be equal to 3000 over here, right? So now that we have this set interval, then we can actually run the ify over here, and then we can close it out, right? And again, the only thing is we actually need to do is actually run the actual get color, right? So here we can go back to index, right? And because it's going to work the same way, we have a get color over here, right? 
we're going to copy and paste this to the random one or here like this copy and paste it right and now we have a get uh, function get color we're going to save this and let's go and delete the button right we don't need the button and you can see already over here how it starts working right so what we're going to do is let's just get rid of this button right so it's not in our way we're going to save this one over here and we can close the over here this guy and just open actually a random one right over here and now we can just wait for those three seconds and then every three seconds we're actually going to have a different uh, background color